Hello, my name is Scott. Welcome to Green Wind and Other Home Energies. These are close-ups of the wind turbine after the dust storm. It blew the cord completely sideways and the prop caught it and wrapped it up about, I thought, five turns, but it's actually wound up being about seven turns. Um, if you look on the back, you see where I've got the power cord tied. And it's a good thing. This is a 2x4 that I uh, carved into a prop. It took me close to about an hour. It's anchored with two long bolts with the same thread as the threads on the uh, ceiling fan motor at the front and nuts on the inside. This is a look at the back side of the uh, ceiling fan motor. These are pretty thick plates. It's an old ceiling fan. It's the best ones to use. You see where the pipe comes out. It screws right into the fitting. Here's where I've wrapped it around a few times and tied it really tight and then I epoxied the knot. That's the only reason why I didn't yank the wires out of the motor. On the back here is uh, about a almost a two foot piece of water pipe coming out and that's a piece of PVC that slides down. It's actually the tailpiece. This right here is after stretching the cord out after unwinding it. Uh, it didn't want to quite straighten all the way. But I check continuity and the uh, power is going through fine. This is the top where uh, it comes out of the T and goes down into the pipe. That's uh, the plate from another ceiling fan motor that I used as a big washer. And it helps keep water out of, out of the inside of the pipe. This is a backup view so you can see the yaw bearing and everything. So it will yaw into the wind and all. And the way it should normally look. If you look dead center to the uh, on the side of the uh, ceiling fan motor, you can see a line. That is steel banding that I wrapped around twice, and then the magnets are right up against the side of that. And here's the pipe that actually comes out of the ceiling fan motor, and it actually threads directly into a uh, reducer, and then into my half-inch uh, water pipe. Down here is where the wire comes out from the inside of the motor it comes out the side of the pipe that I drilled the hole that's a piece of pen and that is epoxied and it keeps the uh, water from coming in this blade is not bent although it almost bent my head as I backed out of the way the <laughs> a lot of fun this is the skyline from up here just thought it would be a nice little view I'm on the second highest hill around and Basically, it's a little foggy, so you can't see too far out there. Um, that's actually about 20 miles away, the next hill. Anyway, I appreciate you, and glad you could come by and take a look. And many good things to you and yours. Scotty B., the Mud Man.